Hi, I'm Dr. Kaplan, and I started this series on normal testosterone levels a couple of weeks ago. The problem is that I noticed some inconsistencies with the reference that I used and looked up some others. It turns out that there are a lot of lists of normal testosterone levels by age, and there are some significant differences between them, making the issue as clear as mud. So, I created my own list of normal ranges by decade for you to use as a basic reference. You won't find these precise numbers in any text, journal, or other website. I am starting over with the normal range for men in their 20s. There are three main testosterone levels that we assess when evaluating for low T. We also look at the sex hormone binding globulin and estradiol. My normal levels for a man in his 20s are shown below. These numbers are expressed to include about 90% of the population and are in the American and international units. Remember that your own personal normal range will be narrower than those you see below. The American ranges include a total testosterone of 500 to 1000 nanograms per deciliter, a free testosterone of 6.2 to 30 nanograms per deciliter, and a bioavailable testosterone level of 165 to 333 nanograms per deciliter. The international units include a total testosterone level of 17.4 to 34.7 nanomoles per liter, free testosterone levels of 0.22 to 1.04 nanomoles per liter, and a bioavailable testosterone level of 5.7 to 11.6 nanomoles per liter. Both systems use 15 to 55 nanomoles per liter as normal levels. And for estradiol, they use a range of about 15 to 50 picomoles per milliliter. However, I like to keep the estradiol between 20 and 30 picomoles per liter in my patients. I will post the normal ranges for other age groups over the next few videos. So click the schedule and appointment button on my website at www.heliostelemedicine.com to see me as a patient if you live in Texas, New York, Florida, or Missouri for weight loss help or a men's hormonal issue. You can also click there for an informal consultation from anywhere, but I cannot form a doctor-patient relationship, order labs, or prescribe medications where I am not licensed. Everyone is invited there to see my prior videos and blog posts. More videos live at www.youtube.com slash at Helios Telemedicine. We are also at www.instagram.com slash Helios Telemedicine. Thanks for your time and attention. Bye for now.